Over the past 18 years, Uganda has seen a significant increase in the number of nursing and midwifery institutions, reaching a total of 133, indicating a 76% rise. Among these, 12 institutions are government-owned, which is 9.0%. 31 are privately operated, not-for-profit, by faith-based organizations, indicating 23.3%. While the majority 90 nursing schools are privately owned for profit enterprises, which is 67.6%. The private school have led to a tremendous increase in the nursing and midwifery care cadre in Uganda, some of whom have exported their services to the rest of the world. While this growth is promising for the production of healthcare personnel, there is a challenge regarding the availability of practicum sites for students to gain hands-on skills. Because we've received complaints from the hospitals as well. So at the end of the day, it's not about these students not acquiring skills, but it's about us who are going to be nursed by them. And at the end of the day, when we are there being admitted, we are having students who do not have hands-on. During discussions between the Uganda Nursing and Midwifery Examinations Board and the owners of these nursing schools, stakeholders emphasized the importance of each nursing school having a hospital to provide practical training. They, are, they have recommended that we, we take on a standard. If a school to, to be established, it should have a training hospital of its kind not to depend on another hospital. It would be a very good policy if you are going to start a nurses or any other training institution to have a hospital alongside your training school. The Ministry of Education reaffirms its commitment to conducting inspections and is prepared to revoke licenses for nursing schools that fail to meet the required standards. The standard is you must have the minimum entry requirements on admission. You don't get them when you are in school. Then I have another school where I have the principal is a student. My group has gone there. The principal is not qualified yet. He's a student. So will not hesitate to withdraw the license. And the way I necessarily close those institutions with inadequate training facilities. This engagement provided an opportunity for nursing schools and midwifery school proprietors to voice their challenges with the examination board offering responses. I would beg that something is, is done to make sure that principals remain at the institutions during examinations. Sometimes UNIMED goes to rise to stop examination centers. Both the board and the ministry encourage nursing school proprietors to invest in training facilities such as libraries, laboratories and dormitories to accommodate the increasing number of students enrolled. Patricia Nandago and Abdana Seluwama for UBC.